everybody it's Andrea aka Violet Kitty 411 and welcome back to my channel thank you so much to everybody who has been engaging with comments likes and subscribing you know I do appreciate it so much as these videos are more fun to do with an engaged audience so obviously we are not in the sims right now we are in the character studio for the new life sim that's on the horizon there's Daisy saying hello say hi honey yeah Feeling good? Okay. So there is a new life simulator that's on the horizon called Enzoi. And legitimately, since TS2 came out, this is the game that is kind of going where I had hoped Sims 3 and ultimately Sims 4 would go, and it didn't. So at least that's what it looks like right now. Uh, we're going to quickly look at the options. Now the Studio ships with it in windowed full screen, but I have it windowed and I've reduced the resolution to 1920 by 1200 simply because it's easier for me to do recording with the resolution set that way. And as far as sound, I am going to eliminate the music as well as the sound effects and the UI for now because I do find them annoying yes I do want to apply that now let's go ahead and start a new game the first thing you want to do for starting a game is to choose a name and we're gonna say nervous subject because since most of my viewers are actually TS2 viewers this means something to you so we're gonna choose a male I am going to go into Face, and I want to use a preset and the reason I want to use a preset is it's easier to choose something that's roughly what I want it to look like and then edit from there so we're going to apply that and this face is roughly what I want it to look like so skin tone let's continue in this genre but I feel like he's been kept underground so we want him nice and pasty and Let's look at the texture of this skin. Isn't that amazing? They have texture. Okay, so the next thing I want to do is let's mess with his hair real quick. We're going to take off both his beard as well as his mustache because they do operate independently of one another and I think that's pretty awesome. And let's choose his hair. Sadly, there is no mohawk. I'm very, very sad about that. So the two best options are both Afro textured options. One are these short dreads and the other are these box braids. And I'm going to tell you, I'm going to go with the short dreads. Both of these make sense because of his mother being Olive Spectre. Okay, let's go ahead and switch his eye color to a nice brown. I think that one works. Now, I'm not keep keeping him like this. We are going to make some edits. We'll use the detailed edit mode. I want to make his nose a bit more formidable. Come on, sometimes it's hard to grab these little dots. Why can't I grab the dot? 
Maybe it won't allow me to grab the duck because I... Come on. Maybe... There we go. I was too close to... I was too close to this area. Sorry about that. And to rotate, you hold down your right mouse key. Now I'm going to actually click off symmetry mode for a quick second. I want to raise his eyebrow, one of them, just a little. So he's not 100% symmetrical, but it's not like it's not like disturbingly asymmetrical. But we'll click that back on. Now let's make those ears a bit bigger, make them hang a bit lower. That makes sense to me for him. Let's get back into basic edit mode. I want those cheeks more gaunt, the broader jaw, and we're going to drop that chin. That's about as much as I can actually drop it. But let's go back into detail and zoom in on these eyes. Nervous's eyes actually rotate ways we just don't feel like they should. Let's open those eyes up a bit. Okay. And drop that as much as I can. Raise that as much as I can. So it basically goes roughly the same way. Now I'm pretty satisfied with that physical appearance for Nervous. Now let's give him a trait. And these are not actually traits, these are archetypes. And within each archetype, there are six keywords, which I consider more like traits, as well as values. So I've read through all of these, and the one that strikes me that fits him the best is this one here, the Explorer. Curious about everything in the world, the Explorer quickly grasps various theories and concepts based on an outstanding insight, always craving new knowledge and continuing to learn. This passion drives deep research into the areas of interest, generating new ideas while enjoying solitude and lacking sociability. See, that's part of why he's not social. They show interest in professional topics and in-depth discussions. Attracted to the surreal and the fantastic, they need to be cautious not to get lost in their own world of imagination. So he's smart, analytical, curious, critical, creative, and introverted. I like that for him. Okay, so let's look at his body. I want him to be a little bit on the twerpy side because we can make him so. So we're going to basically trim down almost all of our features. So, and also I'm going to take him down. I just feel like twerpy is the way to go with him. We're going to take him to 20. I'm not going to give him any musculature. He is, has been held captive for however long. Let's go ahead and give him some body hair. Not a lot. We don't know how much his father might have, you know, like Grim Reaper. It's there, but it's not that big of a deal. It's not that deep. Okay, now let's choose an outfit for him. And we're going to go ahead and start with some t-shirts. And I want an oversized t-shirt that is going to hang out of his... Yeah, I like that, but let's take his outerwear. Let's take this jacket off so I can see it. Broken City. I kind of like that. And the skinny jeans are not right for him. So let's go ahead and choose some not skinny jeans. I like the idea of him having cargo pants and maybe some boots. Now you can customize these colors. I'm just not feeling it right now. And let's also give him an over jacket 
choose a couple that seem to work for him. Is that it? Okay, let's... I think I'm going to go with more like this one. We got a few different swatches, but let's go ahead. Yeah, that's good actually. Is there anything on his back? No, but some weird clipping there. And now if we go into studio, I'm going to choose an urban setting for him because it seems to me that he would definitely be in an urban setting. This is a 180 degree canvas. So you see everything basically behind him, but if you were to circle 360, there would be a lot of nothingness in front of him. Love the shooting the money gun. That's kind of fun. Do a couple dance moves. I can't wait to go clubbing with these guys because they actually have some moves. Feel like he's just about doing the YMCA right now or the chicken dance. I don't know. He's having a good time, I think. Let's get him a good old classic crossing his arms. And maybe you do that again. And I like this urban setting for him because I feel like as he escapes from Loki and Source's place, he would kind of head into the desert, the downtown area of Strangetown. That's my story and I'm sticking to it. And once you're done with the photo mode, we can leave that. And now we can upload to Canvas. So first thing, title, nervous, subject from strange town and let me type this out real quick because you don't want to watch me type okay and we have nervous subject from strange town I can add various photos in let's see which ones we're going to add three is good now let's upload that to canvas and here it shows my creation and also my account here, Violet Kitty 411 and this is this, my Zoe self that I created. So this is him. Now I don't think I can make him dance here in the studio. That's a pretty quick view of this and it's a lot of fun. You can have quite a bit of creativity with it and I'm sure we're going to have more options for hair and clothes as well as more presets to work with when the full version comes out. I'm really looking forward to this. What I've seen so far is totally calling my name. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I will see you soon in the pixelated world and that's all I have to say. VK out.